Hi everyone, myself Priyanka. Again, we are moving with our lectures in the theory of computation and deterministic finite automata. In the earlier videos, we have already seen how the how to draw a DFA when string ends with and string begins with. Now, in this video, we are discussing how to draw a DFA when a string is a substring. For example, W such that W element of 0 plus 1 whole star and W has substring 0 1 0 1 what do you mean by a substring substring means it can ends with 0 1 0 1 or it can begins with 0 1 0 1 or this string can be middle for example this string is accepted and this string is accepted also this string is also accepted that is when substring concept come, a string can begin with 0, 1, 0, 1. It can end with 0, 1, 0, 1. It can be in the middle. That is the main concept you have to understand about the substring. So, how we can draw? So, you must take care of the beginning 0, 1, 0, 1 and ending 0, 1, 0, 1 and also in the middle. So, the trick is the same. You can put the first arrow with first symbol second arrow with the second symbol third arrow with the third symbol and fourth arrow with the last symbol so in the last arrow we put the accepting state in the middle arrow circle fill it with circles and in the first arrow we put the start state okay first we can take care of how the string will look with begins with so the string is beginning with what 0 1 0 1 so what all condition we have to check ends with condition we have to check begins with condition we have to check and also the middle condition we have to check so first look into the ends with condition so when the string one string is coming that is 0 1 0 1 0 1 okay so this is ending with 0 1 0 1 so this must be accepted so how we can do this 0 0 0 this must be bypassed that is 0 can be bypassed if the one comes here this also can be bypassed so it can be bypassed 0 or 1 so in the ending condition first we are checking the ending condition dfa will change when the three condition are being checked so so here it one by one and here uh, listen me carefully what i am saying so here we are checking the ending with the condition so in the ending with you can have zero or one here it is not a problem it must ends with what zero one zero one so this is being satisfied in the middle you do not do anything now now we can check for the begin condition begin condition beginning with zero one zero one end can be anything it can be zero or one okay so what happens here we are specifying the friend condition that is prefix condition or suffix condition has been satisfied you will have already doubt what will we do here zero or one comes that is being explained by me now here zero comes no problem but when zero comes here this is a problem because we want the string like that 0 1 0 1 whether we have to move into the trap state no because it can be a substring okay so move into the front state here we are not using trap state because it can begins with or it can ends with or it can be a substring for example, if we have moved this 0 to the trap state, what will happen? I will show you here 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. This is the 
condition if we have moved this to the trap state what will he be happening okay so zero zero any number of states it will be in the trap state whether this is correct no this is the correct string but here when we move it into the trap state it is not accepting so what we can do so that is why i am saying when trap string comes there is no trap state in that because you must check whether in any verb whether in in beginning condition or in the end condition or the middle condition whether 0 1 0 1 is coming so better move into the first state so look at this 0 0 0 1 0 1 this is being what accepted again i will say 0 it comes to here again 0 it comes to the first state again 0 it moves to the previous state and again one it moves to here 0 it moves to here 1 it moves to here so this has been satisfied okay i hope you have been clear about this this is the condition in substring again i am saying when our substring is there you must check for the beginning and ending and middling so there will be no trap state in the substring condition okay so zero is moved here what happens when one comes here when one comes here it must also be moved to here why let us check with the condition zero one zero one zero one this must be accepted okay zero one again one comes i move to here zero one zero one this is being accepted if i moved this one to the trap state it will not accept but this string must be accepted so i will move again to this first state why we are moving in the substring to the first state because the pattern intermediate patterns is to be bypassed because here one one this is the error here so this one must be bypassed and you must get the correct pattern as like that 0 1 0 1 that is why in the substring dfa we will every time move to the first state other uh, slight modification is there in the conditions when we are moving but every time we will move to the first state itself okay so this is okay then what happens when one once i have already said in deterministic finite automata every state must be marked with both symbols zero or one so here one is marked what happens when zero comes here when zero comes here this is the modification zero comes here we can move to the this state why we are moving to this state because zero has already come we must not check for two zeros when we have for example if you have moved to zero to here what will happen i will say the string zero one zero zero one zero one for example this is the string this is the correct string it must be accepted but you check for that zero first zero we have take next one we have taken next zero we have taken then again zero don't look at this correct condition you must look into that wrong condition then zero comes here you move to here then whether again zero comes no here comes one so this string will not be accepted if you move to this string so to accept it so the the error was that we are checking for the two zeros the so that is not we can check for only one zero so to move to here so what happens when we move to here that is zero we are moving to here then one we are moving to here then again zero we are moving to here again zero we are moving to here again one we are moving to here again zero one it is being accepted okay so in the last state we are accepting 0 or 1 this is the dfa for the substring 0 1 0 1 so you must check for the beginning condition ending condition and in the immediate it will not have any 
loop loop is not will be there any trap also will not be there because substring means every this pattern will be like as such there will be no intermediate looping or trapping because it will lead to the wrong state so understand it thoroughly this is about the substring in the we have now till now we have covered three concepts of dfa drawing that is first one ends with a string begins with a string and also substring you will be able to master it very clearly when you move with my tricks and draw it clearly then you will get or you will be moving with a knowledge that is how to draw a dfa in very easy manner so thank you keep on practicing thank you